Reverend Pete has sinned, oh boy has he, in a dark and very naughty way. In less than two years, Buttigieg has flown private at taxpayer expense nearly 20 times. He's jetted to Ohio and Florida and New Hampshire, among other places. In September, Buttigieg took an FAA jet to a Canadian gay rights ceremony to accept an award for his LGBTQ plus advocacy, something else he's been doing since he gave up on the roads. All this has been extremely expensive for you and every other taxpayer. You may recall that Donald Trump's HHS secretary, Tom Price, lost his job for doing exactly the same thing. An outrage politico.com drove him out of office. So it's expensive, but that's not the real crime. The real crime here is against the climate. It's a sin, it's a moral transgression because none of these planes that Pete Buttigieg was jetting around on were solar powered. Not a single one ran on a windmill or recycled French fry oil 